Who in South Africa today doesn't know about the devastating effects of Nyawope? The cheap drug is destroying the lives of those who are supposed to be taking our country forward. When Gauteng resident Sizo Gumede was saved from drugs nearly a year ago, he realized just how lucky he was to be alive. So he needed to be brave, get involved in the fight, and inspire other young people around him to do the same. Sizo Gumede. Growing up an ambitious young boy, aspiring to become a doctor one day. But it all changed when he turned 11, tragically diagnosed with a dire learning disability. I asked my mom, can I still become a doctor? You know, and she said, uh, unfortunately not, you know, because uh, it takes you longer to understand something than other people. It really, really didn't sit me well. You know, I lost self-esteem, you know, I, I lost focus basically at school. Years passed with Cizo watching other children living their dreams. His became an empty life with no purpose. Without strong guidance, he rebelled and started mixing in the wrong crowd. I skimmed up with people that bunk school, you know, people who don't really, really attend classes that much. And as time went on, I found out that there's this thing that they're smoking, you know, and I became part of it. At the impressionable age of 17, Cizo was sucked into the dark world of drugs. His studies started to slip. When coming to writing, you know, you, it becomes boring. You, nothing is interesting for you at school when you're high. So you'd rather stay away from school and be high than to be in class high. First, he quit school. Then, he left his Fosslores home to live on the streets of downtown Joburg with friends, free from parental rules. When you wake up in the morning, you don't have food, you don't have smokes. You have to now start fending yourself. We started going into buses, metro buses, stealing bags, stealing cell phones. For the next three years, lawlessness became Caesar's new reality. But his family never gave up searching for him. They finally found him and brought him back home to Fosloras. They tried everything to get him clean, including expensive rehab centers. But Ciso couldn't resist the urge to use. He continued drugging for the next 10 years. Tired of being caught in a downward spiral, somewhat older and more mature, Ciso reached out to the Fosloras Youth Desk, a community upliftment program headed by the SAPS. The Youth Desk saw that I had a potential, you know, in their genre of work. So they organized me a rehab. I went to rehab for three months. Now, clean for almost a year, the 31-year-old is slowly finding new meaning to life. Recently, he went back to the organization that helped him dump his habit to actively campaign against drugs. What I'm doing right now for my community, it, it, it helps me to stay clean. There was only one problem. As much as he wanted to help, he had no money to do so. Rehab centers are very expensive. It's from 20,000 upwards. The most cheapest one I know, it's about 12,000. So I think if we can be the mediator between the rehabs and these addicts, it, it will help a lot. Ciso needed a plan. He approached local businessman, Dr. Tandrovu, for advice. I said to the youth desk, guys, 
how about we do the fundraising? They asked me how. I said, okay, now, as you know, I've got the car wash. I will buy all the material, everything for the car wash. Then you guys, you just came and you help those guys who are washing the car in my car wash. Uh, we ask people to wash the car for 50 rand upwards, you know, as we're trying to fundraise. In March this year, CISO and Doctor raised enough money to send more than a dozen young people to nearby rehabilitation centers. CISO's initiative currently has almost a hundred desperate addicts on its waiting list as it continues to negotiate for space in Houting rehabs. It also reaches out to more people through local media. Uh, the point that I said I don't want to do this anymore, it was a point when I actually burgled in somebody's house. It was the first time I do like housebreaking. I was so scared because I never had money. I had no option. I had to do it. I really, really need help because every day I suffer. Day after day, I suffer more. The plan is to keep washing cars and raising funds to help send as many people as possible to become drug free. It can't be our war alone. They know the people who distribute the drugs. They know their kids, that they're addicts. Let them bring them forth, you know. Uh, there are ways of helping. Let them come to the youth desk. Uh, we are willing to help. CISO and his friends in Fosloras understand that solutions for problems in our communities will usually come from community members themselves. Still to come, an activity that started out getting homeless children off the streets now takes them to a world of unlimited possibilities. News that moves. ENCA.com